I want to talk a little bit about uh, a couple things that have been on my mind. Uh, my partner and I recently watched the documentary uh, We Need to Talk About Cosby uh, by W. Kamau Bell on uh, on Showtime. And I think it's really, it really did a good job, I thought, of uh, discussing the impact of Cosby as a person, as a black man who was pioneering in media for uh, black folks, as well as uh, he, he donated tons of money to uh, HBCUs, and he had a huge impact on the community in a variety of ways that was very positive. But then also behind the scenes was this monster who was drugging and raping women. And uh, the documentary really does a really good job of uh, kind of dealing with that in the context of the society we live in, a, a deeply racist society, uh, and and him being a black man, and also these crimes that he committed. <laughs> and I don't really have a ton to say about it, except that it's really, I think it it's really impactful. He had a huge impact on on many women and to the effect where many people just don't eat, like they literally can't see past his uh his crimes his rape the raping he did of these women and uh and I don't blame them one bit it's not uh it's not for me to judge if you can't separate his con the work he did from the ac actions he took i actually can't either like <laughs> it's it's not something that i'm capable of of recognizing is that is like he actually did these awful things. And, and while, uh, there's a lot of context within society, uh, about that, but the, once you reach a certain number, uh, of accusations, even without any other evidence, it becomes pretty apparent. Uh, like, like there were people in the video, in the documentary who were saying like at 15 people, they were like, okay, well, this is, this is no good. Uh, obviously 15 is too many for us not to believe them and at this point i think it's 60 or 65 <laughs> women have come forward over the over the years um and and many many women who uh were very public women like they were actors models uh people of various uh in other jobs that their their position in their their job was impacted by uh, this action that uh, that Bill Cosby took, and it impacted them the rest of their lives <clears throat> by him committing these heinous crimes. And uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty serious stuff. Uh, if you can handle it, it's four episodes. I recommend watching it. Uh, I really, I enjoyed it in the way that one enjoys something very serious that is very important and that deals with a uh, uh, tough subject matter. <clears throat> Which brings me to the other thing that's kind of been on my mind, which is this Amber Heard, Johnny Depp uh, kind of thing, trial, I guess, that's been going on. A lot of people have picked their sides. They've picked their 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 whatever. And I, I guess I have too. I, I read a few articles. I didn't follow the trial closely when it was going on. I tried very hard to avoid any TikTok videos or any quick take uh, Facebook videos that I saw. And oh my God, did, did Facebook ever try to force those down my throat? I really tried to avoid them as much as I could. And uh, I think I did a fairly good job of that. Um, I didn't, I, I saw them. I saw the headlines. I didn't, uh, I didn't watch them. And I got quite annoyed by how often I was seeing them. Uh, and it was always the same. It's always the, the, uh, Amber Heard, uh, is, is, was the bad guy in these, in these videos and on these TikToks and whatnot. And, I just, I find it less than convincing, I guess, because society does this. We, we, as a society, uh, vilify women as, as quickly as we can in order to defend men who have done something awful. Uh, and we did, uh, it, it's related, I guess, in a way to the Bill Cosby thing, because a lot of the women who first came forward, they were vilified. They were, they were questioned as to why they're trying to take down this powerful, uh, dom, uh, uh, powerful, uh, black man in a society who has worked hard and, and pioneered uh, all this stuff, but he was doing these awful things. And Johnny Depp is an abuser. There's The evidence is there. Uh, it's really weird. The verdict ended up being really strange to me because uh, they said in the uh, trial that if Amber Heard proved that Depp had abused her, then they couldn't rule against her. But <laughs> she did prove that, and yet the jury still ruled against her. And 
uh, I'm, there's a lot of discussion about why that is. Um, the evidence was pretty clear in my books. I'm not really up for debating it, but <laughs> I think there's parallels, right? In the way that we treat women and the, even without, even though there's a racial element in the Cosby situation versus the Depp situation, I think there's a, a parallel with the way that we treat women who come forward uh, as victims of abuse or uh, sexual assault or uh, rape or other crimes. Uh, it's usually blaming the victim. It's usually blaming the person, the woman who, or non-binary person, who has suffered at the hands of uh, usually a man with power over them. And this is, it's just the, the status of our society. It's, it's patriarchy, it's rape culture, it's misogyny. And it seems pretty clear to me. I'll, I'll provide some links uh, in the show, in the show notes or description box for this so that you can read up on it too. Like, I don't want to say I know 100% sure that everything that Amber Heard wasn't also all a bad person or what have you. Like, uh, even the articles that I've read, they often say like that she wasn't a quote unquote perfect victim. Like she hit back onto occasion and, and she took revenge in various ways. But I know people who uh, have been abused by their partners and who then reacted after the fact and they hit a wall where it was like enough is enough and I'm not taking this anymore. And they've done other things that could be called abuse or theft or count like revenge. I know people who did this and this it's a reaction. It, it, it's how you react when you're abused. And I don't know. It just seemed the evidence seemed pretty clear to me. Uh, there's there's great great articles and great uh, content out there about it. it. It just seemed like a practice in societal misogyny overall to me. So I'm not particularly impressed with the way our society has handled this situation. I know nobody wants to talk about this anymore, uh, but in my head, the two things are linked uh, with the way that we treat women, and I think that we really have to re-examine, like we really have to keep examining the way that we treat women in society. And if we are turning them into a villain, if we're making fun of their abuse stories, if they're making fun of their sexual assault stories, then uh, I'm sorry, you're the shithead. If you're making fun of somebody who claims to be a victim, then you're the shithead. And we really need to, uh, <laughs> we've got to stop getting our fucking information from TikTok and fucking Facebook and this shit. Like, it's just absurd. The quick takes that people take, uh, you watch some grifting streamer who's watching the trial and it's free content for them. They can watch the trial. It's public domain. They can watch it on, on, on their stream. It's easy content and they can have hot takes and say, Oh yeah, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Look at how she's sitting. Look at how she's doing this, that, the other thing. Like it's absurd. You're not, <laughs> uh, other, other videos and stuff have said this, but, uh, what a lot of the things that grifters on their streaming, uh, chats have said is, uh, how, uh, Amber Heard was sitting funny or, or she was acting. She was clearly acting based on her body language. And like, you're not a body language expert. And even body language as a, as a, a way of reading people is a pseudoscience. It's nonsense. And then you're an amateur at this bullshit. Like, so don't pretend that you know how people act. Uh, anyway, I, I've gone on longer than I intended to on this. So that's all I've got to say. 